This now is a familiar image of coronavirus and SARS-CoV-2 belongs to this family. For any virus to enter a cell, it needs a key. And this key are often proteins found on the surface of the viral membrane. These are called spike protein or surface protein shown here in red. These spike protein determine which host or cell type the virus infects. Small changes in this protein can result in infection on a different host or cell types. The spike protein of SARS-CoV-2 is a trimer and it looks like this. The region in the bottom is essential for the fusion of viral membrane with the host and the region in the top is essential for binding of the spike protein to the cell surface receptors. In particular, the region colored in yellow. The first SARS virus in 2003 and the current virus SARS-CoV-2 both use the same cell surface receptor called ACE2 to enter the cell. However, SARS-CoV-2 is much more infectious. Initially, it was thought that maybe there is small difference in the way the spike protein binds to the receptor and one of the reasons why it is much more infectious. It's now clear that this entirely may not be the case. SARS-CoV-2 spike protein seems to have evolved to contain a new motif colored here in red. This motif is also found in other viruses such as Ebola and HIV. What this motif allows is for the spike protein to bind to another receptor called neurophilin 1, which is much more widely expressed in cells. Along with ACE2, this neurophilin now allows efficient entry of SARS-CoV-2 into the cells. These studies highlight the importance of basic science and the need to study virus and its interaction with the host much more deeply. Until an efficient therapy for COVID-19 is realized, the best way is prevention. And this can be done through wearing masks, washing hands and maintaining social distance.